All right, I'm back. Better than ever. Talk to in LA. Thank you to everyone who watched Nate's Thing About Learning last week. Thanks to everyone who's been coming through and selling us shit. Thanks to the few people who have come through the store and bought stuff. Thanks to everyone who's actually ordering stuff online. We're gonna talk about a few things. Do I look skinnier than last week, Nate? Okay. I've been living basically on Bristol Farms cookies and Erewhon smoothies out here. Couple of notes. Bristol Farms better than Erewhon. And uh, I forgot to add Venice. I'm gonna put Venice wherever the Grove was on the list for Erewhon's. Grove is at the very fucking bottom under everyone. It's a fucking shit show in there. It sucks ass. We got product, obviously. We're gonna talk about another one of our California topics we've been saving, which is Disney as a negative cultural force and Disney adults as a negative part of society. So we'll get into that. We'll talk about Nazi ties. We'll talk about obesity. We'll talk about American imperialism. We'll talk about it all. But first, let's get into the product. That's what we're here for. All right, we got this sweet Jordan Suzuki racing jacket. We're arguing whether or not it's bootleg. I feel like it's not bootleg, dude. Why would they bootleg this? We got some geeked up sunglasses. I had a pair of these. The Kurt Cobain's but really they're the guy on Xanaxes. These have Benzo Addiction written all over them. My favorite Supreme jacket, maybe of all time, the Laurel Piana fur-lined trench in orange. Orange, you glad I saved this for the product video? Isn't that good? We got some Chrome Hearts, a freaky bracelet, like a bangle bracelet with a cross. It's like a Chris Angel situation, you know? There's something like the, the thought process of just wearing a leather bracelet, like I, I, I can't get into the head of someone who thinks like that. Not outside of a sexual situation. We got the uh, Rick Owens Japanese Selvage. It's like, it's the Selvage ones. It's like the really nice denim jacket. It's like a fucking freakier version of like a type two, like Levi's nice jacket. What's up, Phil? Hi, kiss. We got this freaky like Bob Dylan rap tee. Now, not only am I not into Bob Dylan, I fucking hate Bob Dylan. You think that fucking Trent Reznor is whiny? Wait till you fucking hear Bob Dylan. Holy shit, it is the whiniest music that's ever existed. This shit sucks. Like, I am a firm believer that most of the music, probably most of the music that white people made during the 60s, 50s, 60s, 70s, like boomer music, like classic rock and shit. Horrible, worst genre of music ever. Sorry, Joe. Bob Dylan's up there at the, at, at the very worst, the very whiniest. Freaky ass, Chrome de Garçon, three, layer jacket, three sleeves in one. Givenchy bleach paint, it's like an artist collab. I didn't look it up before the video, it's my fault. Painted on there, it's kind of cool. And then we got a cashmere uh, Chanel scarf. Do I look like French Montana? Eh, nice woven. All right, Disney is a negative cultural force. Even as a child, I wasn't into Disney. I always thought Disney was wacky. Disney Channel wasn't for me. Disney World, I went when I was a child, obviously against my will. My mom took me, like shout out her. First time I've gotten a plane, so I appreciate that. But <sighs> Disney, man, it's rough. First of all, Walt Disney was a Nazi, so there's that. Like there's so many layers to this. Did you hear the thing where the dude's wife got killed at Disney World? And then since he signed up for a Disney Plus trial five years ago, they tried to say that the terms and conditions indemnified them from a lawsuit. <laughs> Yeah, shit like that. Like they're evil, bro. They're fucking paving over swampland, marshland that we need to prevent global warming, to build parks. I also think that monorails are the most evil form of public transportation. They're big on monorails. You know, like it feels like some shit Ceausescu would do in like the Romanian capital during communism. It's really like, yeah, Disney's evil. Disney adults, dude. It's like no shade to y'all, I guess, because I bet you a lot of them shop here or wanna shop here. So like no shade, right? But come on y'all, like adults who are into like a children's thing as their thing, it's so fucking crazy. At a certain point, bro, you gotta give up your fucking child like wonder. I'm sorry, that's just part of being a fucking adult. That's just what life is. You know, you can't hold on to your youth forever. Nostalgia is a drug that is useless to most people. I am big anti-nostalgia guy, and I think Disney plays on nostalgia in a very sinister way. Also, let's be fucking for real. Most of the movies are ass. All the good ones came out in our lifetime. Lion King goes crazy, Story Crory goes crazy, 
I think that's it. They're just like the ultimate evil corporation. They buy up all this shit. Their fingers are in everything. I think they're aligned with like Nestle, which is like the most evil food corporation. It's really like a quartocracy. Like they're like at the top of that. They're like the, they're they're like the um the front facing front of the house like media side of like a quartocracy. Yeah, they ruin everything. They ruin Star Wars. And I'm not even a big Star Wars fan. Don't get me fucking, but like, come on. Like that shit's ass now. Yeah, they made Marvel suck. And also like, you know, my, you know what my biggest problem probably with Disney all, uh, and, and this is just a general thing is like, I hate when people are like fake good. I hate when people and I hate when corporations are like fake good. If you're evil, just fucking be evil. Like that's fine. Let me know where you're at. Cause just meet me at face value. Like meet me where I'm at so I can just judge you. And I'm probably not gonna stop by spending money with a corporation just because they're evil because every corporation is evil. Like, what am I going to stop? Am I not going to get gas because they're fucking dr like drilling and like causing earthquakes in Oklahoma? Like, no, I'm not. I'm going to get gas. So it's like, if you're evil, just be evil. But this, all this good, fake, good shit is evil and even worse. It's bad. The food sucks at Disney Disneyland. I just watched a TikTok. This woman ate like 7,000 calories in a day at Disneyland. The guy was like counting the calories. She looked like she eats 7,000 calories a day. She had the fucking Minnie Mouse ears on. It was bad work all around. I hate a streetwear collab with Disney. I hate a fashion collab with Disney. I think the characters suck. It is truly like pushing our society towards like an evil, awful place, generally. I don't think Disney's pushing people to be stupider. I think that they are pushing for the status quo to be more annoying and that's worse. I I'm sure I have more on this. We could probably circle back. Disney, if you do want me to like come on to ESPN or ABC to talk, bang my line, I'm open to it. If you guys want to meet your actual childhood he hero who actually exists, not Mickey Mouse, I'm in store most days. You know, come bang my line. 8012 and a half Melrose, 261 Broom, Luke's Dot Store, Nasty Work Podcast, Luke's NYC. Let's get it.